YouTube welcome back to my channel I am back with a tutorial for you guys I know it's been a minute since I've done a tutorial well over a year uh, but just due to some personal reasons I've just taken a hiatus from doing videos but now I am back with a new tutorial for you guys I decided to go with a purple look today as you can see so if you want to see how I created this look then keep on watching Okay, so first I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows. I am using my Benefit Cabral and my spoolie brush slash eyebrow brush. And then now I'm just going to spoolie them out. Okay, so now that I have my eyebrows filled in, I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer, I'm using my matte concealer, and I'm just gonna out outline them to clean them up. And I'm just using a double-ended naked brush. And I can notice we see that the right one is a little bit lower than the left one but my left eyebrow is naturally higher than the right one so I just try to make them as even as possible. I'm going to take a q-tip and just clean up around my eyebrows. Now that I have my eyebrows outlined, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. On my primer, I'm just using my MAC Prepping Prime and I just put it on my face. Spread it out and then I just rub it in. Widow's Peak because my Widow's Peak is super deep. Not like the average Widow Peak, definitely. Okay, so to prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Primer. I'm just going to use my finger and blend it out. For eyeshadow, I'm using my Morphe James Charles palette. I'm going to be using sort of a neutral color. And it's called 10% off. Apply that brown to my crease. So my camera decided it wanted to cut off for whatever reason that is. But like I was saying, um, I'm just using this brown, just adding it into my crease. As you can see, the second uh, lid is already done. So I'm going to be using this purple shade called Escape from the James Charles Morphe palette. Take that purple and apply it to my lid. There's a shimmery purple in this palette as well. I'll be putting pictures of each color that I use in the video so that you guys can see what the colors actually look like in the palette. But I'm going to be using this purple, uh, shimmery purple, and it's called Artistry. So I'm just going to continue to add that to the center of my lid. 
So, now that purple's added up there, I'm going to take like a royal blue color and I'm just going to add it to the outer corner of my eye. So now that we have that blue added in there, I am going to put some primer on the my lower lash line that I'm going to add some of that purple, just the regular matte purple, to the bottom of my lash line. First I'm just going to blend that primer out under my eyelid and then I'm going to put the purple underneath. So now I'm just going to add that purple underneath the bottom. And I always like to add a little bit more to the bottom so that when I do apply the um, concealer underneath my eyes, I don't accidentally take away all of the eyeshadow that's on the bottom. And I know it might look a little crazy when you first do shadow underneath your eye, but I promise you the end result is amazing. I'm going to add, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of gold uh, shimmery shadow to the corner of my eye. And from the same palette that I've been using, this shadow is called Face. And I'm just going to put it right in the corner of my eye. I'm just going to be using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. When I'm doing my wing liner, I like to tilt my brush at an angle because it makes it a lot easier to get that like angled wing look instead of like the flat wing look. And so I'm just going to start off by tilting my brush and I'm going to tilt my head down and I'm just going to take it up. as far as you like to go. So I'm just gonna take my liner and angle down like that. And as you can see, I have the outline of the liner and then I'm just gonna go back and fill it in. Okay, so after I do the wing part, then I go back in over my lid and I just carefully line it so that I connect it all together. I have really long lashes so I have to go like over top of my lashes and then down to get the bottom of my, um, to get my lash line. Just gonna line my lower lash line with this white eyeliner. going to go ahead and do my foundation and I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Nutmeg.
there's my dog. After I do that, I like to go on with my LA Girl Concealer and I'll just put that in all the areas that I want to highlight. Typically, when I do my makeup, I don't like to cake it on. I just like to do enough so that it looks like I have on makeup and that, you know, looks like I put a little bit of effort into my makeup. But more often than not, I only really like cake it on when I'm going to like a very formal function. So I'm um, just taking that all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay and I am wetting my beauty, I'm wetting my beauty blender. So my camera decided it wanted to cut off again. I think it's in every 12 minute intervals, which I'm gonna figure out how to change that. But I am just blending out my concealer underneath my eyes and the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. using my contour stick from Black Radiance and I'm just gonna go over all the areas that I want to contour. And the way you contour all depends on your face structure. How slim you want to make your nose look. How small you want to make your forehead seem. Cause I have a big forehead and yeah, it's just big. So, I am using my contour brush from Wet n Wild and I am just going to blend that out. Now that this side is done, I'm going to go ahead and do this side and then I'm going to go over the entire thing one more time with my brush just to make sure I don't have any harsh lines in my makeup. Now I'm going to be using my Black Radiant Setting Powder just to set my face and I'm just going to take a little bit on my Beauty Blenders that I use to blend out my highlight and I'm just going to set that up there. I'm just gonna dust off that extra um, setting powder and after I finish brushing off the setting powder I'm going to go ahead and put on my setting foundation that I like to use and that pretty much just blends everything in together the contour of the highlight uh, make sure I don't look too ashy from the setting powder or anything by MAC. It comes in a little jar like this. It has like the little screen over it so that you don't pick up too much loose foundation. And so I just take a little bit up there, knock off a little bit of the extra because you really don't need too much. Just, just use 
to like blend everything in, not necessarily to put on a whole face of foundation again. So I just dab it up there first and just go over and blend it out all over my face. Everybody. This is Bear. So hi Bear. He's not gonna say hi. Say hi. Look at the camera. Say hi. There you go. Love him. Okay, go be good. Just using my MAC Mineralize Highlighter. I'm just going to apply that. If you have long lashes, that's fine too. Okay, and to finish off this look, I'm just going to be using a brown liner and my Too Faced Melted Latex uh, Liquified High Shine Lipstick in this neutral color. But first, I'm going to align my lip with this brown. together and set my face with my setting spray just a couple of sprays of this all-nighter setting spray and there you have it this is the final look don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to get back to you guys in a timely manner. Thank you for watching. So hopefully this will have me more on the schedule and get me to make more videos for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And